I know what it feels like to be really miserable. I have been there. I know how hard it is when it's a struggle to move, let alone get out of bed. And I know how much you may want that bad feeling to be over, no matter what is causing it, but I believe that you have to fight for it, inch by inch. And over time, you will feel better. Rather than hoping for a quick recovery, if you have the patience to do the little things that make you feel a little better and keep doing them, even if you don't really notice the improvement, you can climb yourself out of almost anything. So, I made you a list of 5 things you can do to deal with your anxiety. Number 5. Get off social media. A lot of people will take a brain break by scrolling through Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Unfortunately, this rest may be doing you more harm than good. When it comes to anxiety, not to mention how comparing yourself to others on social media can be anxiety including in its own right. Why don't you have six packs, an immaculate kitchen and children that spouts wise saying every 30 minutes. But disconnecting can be harder than it sounds as social media addiction is a legit problem. Instead of constantly checking your notification, plan breaks, so take it easy and don't compare yourself with others. You're amazing the way you are. Number four, give your body rest. We all think we know how to relax, but chilling out in front of the TV or computer isn't true relaxation. Depending on what you're watching or doing, it could even make you more tense. The same is true for alcohol, drugs or tobacco. They may seem to relax anxiety or stress, but it's a false statement of relaxation. That's only temporary. What the body really needs is daily practice of a relaxation technique, like deep breathing, meditation or yoga. That has a physical effect on the mind. For example, deep breathing helps to relax a major nerve that runs from the diaphragm to the brain, sending a message to the entire body to let go and loosen up. Number three. Connect with others. Spend time with friends or family. Organized activities are great, but just hanging out works too. Doing things with those we feel close deepens our bonds, allowing us to feel supported and secure. And the fun and sharing that go with it allow us to feel happier and less upset about things. If you feel worried or nervous about something, talking about it with someone who listens and cares can help you feel more understood and better able to cope. You will be reminded that everyone has these feelings sometimes. You are not alone. Number two, connect with nature. Heading out for a walk into the park or hike in the woods can help anyone feel peaceful and grounded. Choose somewhere you feel safe so you can relax and enjoy your surrounding. Walking, hiking, trail biking offer the additional benefit of exercise. Invite a friend or two or a family member along and enjoy feeling connected to people as well. Try to see and feel the color of sky, plants, mud and people. It may not give you the instant effect but may distract you enough to feel differently. Number 1. Pay attention to the good things. A great way to keep your minds off the worry track is to focus about thoughts and things that are good, beautiful and positive. Appreciate the small, everyday blessing. Allow yourself to dream, wish and imagine the best that could happen. Believe in your inner resources no matter what and you will grow from the experience. I believe that the answer usually lies within and you are probably smart enough to figure out what you need to do. Give yourself a little time and have patience. Feel good about yourself. No matter what life brings, know that each time you wake up, you have another chance to make things better. Don't waste it. If you feel tempted to do one of the things on the list, do it. That's your voice inner voice pushing you to reach out for help. I am sure you have a lot of reasons why not to do it. But once you find yourself leaning towards being active, go for it. You can start to break the spell of misery. I appreciate your time you spent to watch this video and I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel today as I just want you to feel better. See you in the next list. Till then, take care of yourself.